For many, many Iowans, a long tradition was to get a class ring. One Marshall County woman had the misfortune of losing hers while she was a junior in high school. After six decades, her ring was found. WHO 13's Roger Riley joins us live from Ferguson with the story. This is a great one, Roger. Yeah, Aaron, you know, this is a story of that couple who exchanged class rings on the last year of the Ferguson school's existence before they merged with some nearby towns. Now, there was a Sunday afternoon football game here right on this field where the ring was lost. The ring was too small for him to wear on his finger, and so he wore it on a chain around his neck. We exchanged rings, and the guys played um, touch flag football on Sunday afternoons in the school yard, and obviously the chain broke, and he lost the ring. Now that's Darlis Fenders, and Ferguson School is no longer, but that field where the game was played is still here. Just a little over a week ago, Darlis saw this man, Trent Banks from LeGrand, near the old school with his metal detector, told him the story. About a half hour later, he called. The ring had been found under several inches of dirt, and then was dusted off, and it looked as good as new. It has not been restored. I don't want to place too much importance on material things because, yes, that ring meant a lot to me. It had, it had a lot of sentimental meaning more than material meaning because it was, it was our last class of Ferguson. We were consolidated with um, LDF or with LeGrand Dunbar and Ferguson, and it was kind of my last uh, tangible I guess you'd call it, thing with uh, the Ferguson schools. And now the ring actually, after years of looking here on the field, it was actually found way off in the distance. There's a tree there, which is actually technically out of bounds. That's where it was found under that tree. Uh, it's right by Main Street. Her pastor has dubbed this the, uh, the miracle on Main Street, finding this. But she said it is just a material item. But as she said, it's a lot of sentimental value. She did offer uh, the man who found it a reward. He refused. He said just getting to call her up and tell her that it was found was enough reward for him. Love, love, love this story, Roger. That is great stuff. Thank you. So much sentimental value.